But right now, I have something very, very important that I want you to pay attention to. It's in a program I've created called the 12 Month World Champion. And what the program is going to be doing is going to give you weekly lessons for the next 12 months, give you weekly lessons teaching you how to compete, teaching you how to train, teaching you how to study, teaching you how to learn a system that's designed and will teach you how to skyrocket your overall graphic success. Now, the program, every week you'll receive different video lessons in different areas and different categories of what we've done. If you've been watching Metal Traces for the last 10 years, last 15 years, 20 years, if you've been watching what I've been doing and you won't ever wanted to get behind the scenes and know exactly what we're doing week by week, what I'm saying on the floor, what I'm talking to our world champions, when I said when Muhammad Ali first came to us, he was, you came to Purple Bowl, right? He had never won a world title before, and his goal was to win a world title. And at that point, he came on. He had never won a world title before, and fast forward, he's won a purple belt world title. He's won double gold at brown belt, and like I said, he's won the black belt world championship. And I said, Miss Here, if y'all know her, Miss Ginger Ninja, what's the name of your company? Catalyst? Catalyst Fight Management. And what do you do? Uh, we manage professional jiu-jitsu athletes. And I have her in the video because she's new to the team, and I want you to give her... I want her to be able to give a perspective because you have a, a very important decision to make right now. If you would like to be behind the scenes and for the next 12 months learn exactly what I do, how I do it, what I say, you'll see live footage of my conversation on, uh, to the guys, to the gals before worlds, before tournaments, the mindset, what we do on a daily basis. And for the last 22 years, I have never, ever, ever allowed anyone to see behind the scenes of what we're doing. Yeah, you may have seen the Next World Champion, the video series, but that just showed you a little tiny glimpse of what we're doing. Mohammed, when you first came here from, like, from Brazil, how different was the training methods that we do here as, um, as far as like what you were used to? Yeah, it's very, it's very different, not just the jiu-jitsu, but the culture too. Like here people are willing to drill for hours straight to get a perfect grip in a perfect transition, in the perfect everything. In Brazil, we're more like, we get there, we warm up, we run, we whatever, we do rows, one technique for like 20 minutes and then we roll. You know, so basically people learn by trying and making mistakes, but sometimes one mistake that you're making, you take a year to fix it because you don't have the micro little transition thing that we have here. So it was great for me because I was like that. I was doing stuff, I was doing good, but I wasn't trying to be perfect on my techniques, on my grips, on my, you know, my mindset and everything. So coming here helped me a lot to Pay attention to the detail, you know. And without going into super deep detail, I want to talk about one thing. Like, so the year you won the black belt world title, um, share with them the story of how we watched video and how there's one thing that we worked on and we just over and over and over and over. Can you share with them that? Yeah. So every year we have Abu Dhabi, Brasileiros, and Worlds, right? Of course, we have Pan and everything. So we always say here that we use these tournaments to get collect data to world, right? So last year, Brazilians, I didn't go, but there was a guy who always beat me, Nicolas Menegali. He always beat me, this guy, since Purple Belt. So now I knew he would be my division for worlds. And we saw somebody passing his guard, Brazilians. And this guy had a micro little grip switch that he did, and Nicolas wasn't able to pull his knee back. So we watched that for a long time. I mean, I watched, but I didn't see anything. And he came here, man, that was the that was the thing. I was like, no, man, he was just tired. No, 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 man, that was the thing. We Let's work on that thing. And then we started doing this switch. Boom, we did the switch for like a month. And then he was telling me, because I have this problem about patience, right? I'm, I'm never patient. I want to rush. I want to score right away. He was like, man, you're going to, as soon as you grab there, he's going to let you grab. You're going to grab it. You're not going to release it you're not gonna release it. You're only gonna go to the switch when you have it perfect. And long story short, I won the match, I scored 5-0 in the first five minutes, and then the other five minutes I was there, just controlling and everything, and I was, I got to the finals fresh, because I didn't have to fight, because I was controlling everything. And when you control everything, you don't have to fight. So I went to the finals and I won the finals, so that's kind of like one of the thousand stories that we have like that here. Yeah, 
And like I said, you can get full details below how to get involved, how to get um, into the 12 month world champion program down below. Also, you have to think about this too. The mental aspect is so, so, so important because like, I, I'll use him for example again, because uh, Nicholas had beat him, had beat him before, had beat him his purple belt, had beat him his brown belt, at the black belt, where did he beat you? <laughs> he, he beat you bad at one turn. Bad. 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 Listen, listen, he beat Muhammad, he tapped you, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, so he beat Muhammad, tapped him, and he came over, and I said, I said, what happened? He said, man, he fucked my guard. But he, but he wasn't joking. He was yeah. dead, dead serious. Yeah. And I felt bad for him, but it's 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 losing, losing, losing. And then the turn, the big tournament before the worlds, this guy not only beats the crap out you, taps you, right? And going into the world, no one had Muhammad uh, as like the top two, top three people to win the world. Everything was Nicholas Magali versus no, no. Low. Nicholas versus Low. The day, the day he was competing against Nicholas in the flow grappling stories, it said. Had a photo of Nicholas like 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 this, and it said "time to eat," like like Muhammad some type of snack. You know what I'm saying? And we're taking that, and he's been beat, Muhammad. But we're taking that. But understand this: on Muhammad's side, what's the mindset that you have to have? What's the mindset that's developed? See, when Muhammad came as a purple belt, wanted to be a black belt world champion, wanted to become win world titles, the the mindset that we started working on him as a purple belt was not just for purple belt. Everything we're doing is for the elite highest level that you're trying to do. Maybe you're trying to be a blue belt world champion. Maybe you're trying to be a blue belt master world cha champion. Whatever your thing is, whatever your goal, maybe you're trying to be the best in your room. Whatever your goal is, you have to have a, 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 a system to help you get there. But the mindset, whether it's in the room, whether it's in tournaments, whether it's big tournaments, it's, it, it takes time too. And even when you're a black belt world champion, you still got to work on it. You still got to work. It's over and over and over. And it's like muscle. If you don't lift Weight, your muscle will go away, and it'll be like atrophy. It's the same thing on mental skills. So going to a tournament to fight a guy who always beats you, he tapped you in Abu Dhabi too, right? I fought him twice, and the, the two times he beat me less than two minutes, I think. Yeah. Less than three minutes. Beat him less than three minutes. The 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 black belt year at the Pans destroyed him. It was a money wop, man. He said, "Fuck this guard." And now we're now every media, every, every video we see in our timeline, every video we see on Instagram says Margali versus Nicholas versus Low. Like he, he's not even a thought. No. Now he, how old are you? Twenty five. So he's twenty five, and like y'all people see all oh, this Muhammad Ali, Muhammad. but that that stuff. Where is it? The media. Where is it? You have no chance. This guy beat you. You're, you're, they're not even giving him a chance. And then the day of the competition, an hour or two before, it has uh, Nicholas. Time to eat. That burnt me up, man. The funny story is that I not just beat both of them, but I also broke my foot the day before. Right? Yeah, yeah. He broke his foot. <laughs> and that, also, that's mental. And also, we went to, back to the hotel room for ice, 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 like six times in six hours. Went to sleep. Next day, I went there. And warm worlds, you know. Most people go to a tournament and they break their foot. They've already pulled out right away. Or if they try to tough it up and suck it up, then they're going to the tournament. But, you know, broken foot fighting these type guys, and, and you're thinking, oh, I can't do it. Oh, you start, you, the mind starts slipping and allowing you to put excuses in place. And like I said, the mental training that you're going to get, you're going you're to learn how to do it within the, with the book you got. But I'm telling you right now, reading, this, this is what happens to most people. Make sure you get, get all the information down there. If you're ready to join right now, just click the button down there. Most people read a book. Put it down and say, hey, what book should I read next? They tell them what is next. They get the book, read the book, put the book down. What book should I read next? And it's an ongoing cycle, but it's not about what you read. It's about what you do and what you implement because it has to be a system. Like, for example, if you read the Grappling Game Plan, I released that over 15 years ago. I used that for the last 20-plus years, that information in there. Every single day, every single day I'm on the floor with them, I'm implementing some type of aspect from the game plan. Every time I'm on the floor when somebody says something or I see them happen, I'm implementing some type of fact from the game plan. They don't even know, like he's never read the game plan before, but he's been in here for like, how long been here so far right now? Five years? Yeah, I think. So five years, six years, he's been here. And every single day, through the ups and through the downs, through the wins, through the losses, these principles are being applied. But if you just read the book, 
and go through the book and put it down, you're not going to be able to have it ingrained and put into every every fiber of your, you know what I'm saying, the DNA in your body. Whereas on the floor, they get it because we're here, Macedonia's here, like everyone that knows it, has been through it, teaches it. And that's why I want to create the 12 month world champion. So like I said, all, all everything um, being transparent, I'm not guaranteeing that you're going to become a world champion. What I am guaranteeing that in 12 months, going through this program in 12 months, you will have the foundation that's required to take to reach whatever, whether it's a black belt world title, blue belt world title, or just being more confident, you know, in the room. Like I said, it's not about world titles and all this and that. It's about becoming the best you can with what you got. Um, Ms. Ginger, you came here from a different team and immediately when you first came here, you used to tell me about what, what, what the difference you saw because I don't, I've never trained with another team. So I don't know what they do. I just know that when people see what we do, it's like different. So can you share with them, uh, one, if they're on the fence about getting involved in the 12 month world champion program, why they should get off the fence and what your experience has been? Yeah, um, I think that's really touched on it before, but um, I think the biggest difference for me was having the mindset starting to get ingrained in me. Um, I can train hard and I can train with a lot of good people, but at the same time, if my mind isn't right, if I'm not sitting and having that time with other people who are focused and going on a path together with a coach who is taking that time with every person and explaining how to build your mind up, which uh, a lot of what his program is going to do for the next 12 months is that, is building your mindset and, and understanding how to train right and how to train uh, in the right direction and how to train your body and your mind together and focus, um, you know, that has helped me tremendously in a very short amount of time. And if you haven't heard me say this before, let me say it again. What the 12 month world champion is and what it isn't, it's not about techniques. Like if, if you're looking for an instructional series, an instructional techniques where you're gonna come in and, and learn a bunch of techniques, sweeps, uh, takedowns, that this is not it. This, I want to teach you how to fish. If you're on Alliance or Atos or Gracie Baja or no matter what team you are, all your every team has their core system. The way they pass, the way they throw, the way they sweep, they have their core techniques. I'm going to teach you how to take that and magnify it. Now I'm telling you this also, unless you are an elite member in your school and you are part of the inner circle where you know you know the guys or the gals that are on the inner circle they get all the attention they get all the time they get all the extra stuff that you know free private lesson whatever it may be unless you're inside of that even if you're in that crew I'm going to teach you something but if you're not in that crew like you're not going to have access to what I'm going to be sharing with you if you look at the investment if you think about how much is it, how much is the airline ticket go to the world right now $400 cheaper than that what what are the how much did we pay for the hotel when we went to Pans, like for the week? How much does it cost to, to be in to register for terminal? Like one ten ninety? One thirty. Like if you think about the investment you're already doing, like you get a nice gi what what's a like a nice brand name gi? Don't name a brand name gi, but just how much the, the like top dogs cost? One hundred fifty to two hundred. And some of them out there three hundred four hundred bucks. Absolutely. Listen, I'm asking you to invest in this program and allow me to share with you the systems that have allowed our team to achieve unbelievable, unheard of results. I, I, listen, you know, I, I have no problem with being cocky. And I'm not trying to pressure, I'm trying to press upon you that I know what I'm talking about. Right here, where we're at right now, on this floor, we have blue belt world champions, purple belt world champions, brown belt world champions, black belt world champions, homegrown and non-homegrown, gi, and no gi. We don't, we don't have 10,000 affiliates. We don't have 100 plus schools all over the country, all over the world, where we're taking the one person here, one person here. The, the, like when you see these world titles, the mass majority of them are coming from this floor right here. What's being talked about in those bleachers, right? And I'm, I'm telling you right now, if no matter where you're at in your life and your grappling life, if you want to take your grapple to the next level, if you want to take your mindset to the next level, if you want to learn and discover the secrets that have allowed our metal chasers to do what you've seen, to do what you, the world has absolutely witnessed for the last decade plus, I'm asking you to invest in the 12-month world champion course. The investment's tiny.
the rest of it's tiny. My private lessons are fifteen hundred dollars an hour. I'm doing leg lessons almost two thousand dollars an hour. If you were, if you were, listen, if you came to Maryland and could get on my calendar and we sat down and I worked with you for one hour, it would cost you fifteen hundred dollars. Some people joke and laugh, 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 blah, blah, blah. But it's not funny. Fifteen hundred. You don't. If you don't have fifteen hundred dollars, you're not getting a private lesson from me. How much is your private? Lesson? So you're two hundred. So he's two hundred dollars. Let, let's say if I was two hundred dollars, if you were to come here and spend an hour with me and give me two hundred dollars, what I'm talking about? I'm talking about working with you for twelve months, every single week, giving you assignments, giving you lessons, giving you instruction, teaching you how to do transitional systems, teaching you how to take your systems at Gracie Baja, your systems at Alliance, your systems at wherever you're at. I'm going to teach you how to take y'all systems, how to break it down, and how to accelerate your learning process. I really don't know what else to say other than please, if you're interested in taking your grappling game to the next level, invest in me. Listen, stop drinking Starbucks for a week. Stop going to McDonald's and if, if you say I don't have money. Um, in closing, Muhammad, someone's out here watching this video. They just got the grappling game plan, so we already know that they're interested in grappling improvement and they're on the fence saying you know I, I don't want to learn from him for 12 months I, I understand he's created a black belt world tie champion the world champion at every single level and he may have something but I'm, I'm not sure if they're on the fence if they should come to the program what would you say to them I got two funny things first if you win worlds as a black belt you're not a favorite shit anymore right <laughs> so you get all your money all back. your money back second like we got people here that like he got his black belt took four years three and a half DJ got his back belly four years. Winning worlds, yeah, winning, winning tournaments, worlds. every single belt. So we have Big Willie who won everything too, but he's top at Brown Belt. We have a lot of people winning, like, you have the facts already. Just like, just do it, you know, that's it. And what would you say if they're on the fence? Any information that you think that you're gonna get out of the book is gonna be great, but I guarantee you it's not gonna be an ounce of what he's gonna give you over a 12 month period of really working with you and giving you the core of what the, the book is just touching the surface of. It's, it's an amazing course. Not only is it amazing, I'm gonna be continuously adding to it, adding to it. If I, once, I, once I start getting feedback from people that are in the program, if I wanna add some, I'll add some to the modules, you'll be able to go back and listen, it's gonna be absolutely amazing.